we're in the Holly Channel today and it's a lovely sunny day but quite breezy so we shut one of the doors. Um, what you can see here is um, a level site which was levelled 2020 in order to build this protected um, environment which we in this example is a polytunnel and in order to then get all the crops growing the, the herbs the flowers the um, salad crops um, the garlic and all those sort of things what we did was we made up beds um, which you can probably see they're raised beds and the idea behind organic growing is that you buy in as little as possible you try and develop your own biodiversity and healthy soil so the soil that you can see in the beds is from other parts of this farm here. So it's a nice loam, inherently very fertile soil. We've used many, many um, bucket loads of tractor um, fills to fill up these beds. The soil is about six inches deep, the topsoil, and we've also enriched it by using farmyard manure underneath. We put farmyard manure in last spring. Um, this winter, what we'll do again is cover the beds with farmyard manure. So. We really use very, very little other kind of um, feed for our plants. We do occasionally use a little bit of seaweed feed and also organic um, poultry manure, but we find with the inherent fertility of the soils here, um, which relates to the loam and also the um, farmyard manure, we need to replenish very little. So the importance of a good organic soil is that it's got a very high organic matter content which means that there's plenty of room for microorganisms, there's plenty of air in it, there are micropores, there's plenty of water holding capacity as well. So if you were contrasting it for example with a sandy soil where water drains straight through, um, you could have an organic sandy soil but here we have an organic loam. And if you look at the soil there's plenty of organic matter in it, you'll see that because it's very very dark. Um, an organic soil will naturally be able to feed your crops and it'll also in general be full of all sorts of beneficial microorganisms because soil is made up of all sorts of fungi, um, it's made up of um, tiny little creatures like um, cyst worms, it's made up of worms obviously, so there's an awful lot going on in this soil, it's like a, it's, it's very much a living thing and we've noticed this year that the quality of the produce and the amount of water we have to use is less just because the soil has been worked, it's been kept weed free and it's also been fed. So that's a little bit about the soil.